Hey everyone, Dogmatic71 here. Welcome to Dogmatic DIY. Today I'm going to make this, this wall art. I guess we would call it it's a kind of like a bare silhouette wall art. So what I used is some old fence boards, some quarter inch plywood, and I just used some pine, like one by four pine for the framing border and just cut it to an inch and a half width and that's it nice and easy nice and quick so let's get started okay so what you want to do is Mine is going to be three fence boards wide. You can make yours any width or the, the length and width that you want. But I'm going to go three wide now. The reason I did this is because you could also do full boards like here. Like I show here. Or you can cut it up kind of like if you watched my, <clears throat> my wall art on my farmhouse sign there. That's got different sizes and different widths of it. But... um a lot of it's going to be depending on the size of your stencil or your or your picture of your bear. So, for example, here, let me come here. For example, see, I printed that on an eleven by seventeen piece of paper. That's as big as I can get. So, twenty four inches long will give me about five on each side to the edge of the drawing and if I go three boards wide so that's a you know eh, I would say about maybe close to 16 because they're about five and a half five and a quarter right so five ten fifteen fifteen and a quarter so fifteen three quarters so it's close to 16 so if I went bigger it would look odd because as you can see I'll have a boat uh, under five inches on each side as well um, so I thought that worked out better and it looks better. Now, like I said, you don't have to have full boards. You can have little bits and pieces of the board, but I'm going to use full, full boards. So what you also can do is, cause what I'm going to do instead of taping this out and carving it is I have some carbon paper. So you take your carbon paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to, as you can see, here's already shows the stencil of part of the bear, right? So face down, the dark side face down, like that. Then you want to tape it so it doesn't move, right? Then you put the bear on. What I do is I tape the bear to the tape of the carbon paper just so I don't ruin the carbon paper as little, small and little as possible, right? And then if you got the carbon paper that I sh I'm going to try to share on my um, in my description, it comes with subscribers. I believe it comes with subscribers because I got subscribers with mine. And he, you don't really need a scriber. You can just take a pencil technically and a pencil will do it. So just like watch, you know, I'll just do a little line here. And see anything that can leave a mark on here will leave a mark on the wood and then once you're done with that you, you've got you got that in case you want to make another one right you're not wasting it on taping it to the wood and then cutting it so <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do I'm going to trace this and then we'll come back okay I'll give you an update um, so they're glued I sanded it down uh, the wood and I glued them together uh, just because it's just glue right now so to hold it while I'm moving things around I put two of the frame pieces on at each end and Brad nailed them in 
inch and a half brad nails on the sides there just to hold them together while I do this because um, what I did is I took some carbon paper as you can kind of see some of the silhouette put it face down on the wood here and then trace that out um, what I used to trace it out where'd you go you don't have to buy them but when I bought the carbon paper it came with a little tips uh little scribers I guess if that's what you want to call them um I can't come with like four or five of them um, I can probably put the link in the disc I'll probably put the link in the description for to get the carbon paper for this so this makes it easy so I'm not wasting this paper i can just keep reusing it if i do more of them um i'm not sure if i'll sell these or not we'll see how they turn out but um that way i'm just because the carbon paper can be used more than once right so i can save that carbon paper and use it again and again and now see it's uh, on the wood and now i can just uh drill a, a couple holes in here and then start jigsawing this um bear so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put a couple blocks up so i can jigsaw it without it hitting the table and then i'm going to cut the bear out uh, okay so i'll come back okay so uh now i got the framing on and then Got it all sanded out. Oh, I've got a couple things here. One thing is the glue didn't hold when you're doing a jigsaw. Is there's a couple pieces here. You gotta make sure you got them. So what I'm gonna do, because I don't want to nail them on here, because if I nail them on here, um, this one might be okay, but this I don't I don't want splitting in two, right? This one I may be able to do, but I think I'll just glue it back to this and blunt it onto the, the quarter inch plywood. But um, as you can see, looks nice. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to try to match the framing with this. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a little showing you. It's kind of hard to see, but. It's got almost like a walnut underneath and then a black on top. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to do one coat of walnut, do a light sanding, and then I'll do a black over top and then wipe it off. And then hopefully it looks they pretty close. It doesn't have to be exact. But other than that, uh, this here is going to be just um, polyed. We're not going to put any stain on it. Um, we like the how it looks. Um, once I put some poly on it, it'll pop some of these grains a little bit more. Uh, you, watch some other videos. They so you can kind of lightly dampen the the wood to pop the grain out. But it's it's out there pretty good right now. Uh, the middle one, I'm not as worried about not having a lot of grain, considering the majority of that's cut out. But the bottom one and the top one, there's a reason I put them there. It's because you get a little bit more grain on them. So let me go and try to stain the, the frame part and put some poly on here and we'll come back. Okay, so it's all done now. As you can see, I got like three, I got three coats of poly on here. Now the cool thing is that since I didn't put any stain on it, you can really notice this, this difference of color and wood, um, even though they're just random fence boards, right? It's cool that this one's kind of a little bit lighter. I actually liked how it turned out. So I'll mix the, the black and the bare stand out a little bit more when it's lighter like that. And you got some nice grains here. I know you get a little bit of glare in the with my light in the background, but you can see here when I go on an angle, got some nice wood grains there. 
right? So it turned out really good for and how easy it was and how quickly you were able to make this, right? Just from, you know, this is only 24 by 16. So it's, you're talking about us, if, even if you wanted to just use one six foot piece of fence board, uh, you're pretty much like that, right? So that's uh, all there is to it, you know? You can probably lock this out in, in a day. You know, the longest thing is uh, waiting for the poly and paint to dry. You can technically do this right away, right? It's just a quarter inch plywood. So you can just paint that to whatever your background's gonna be uh, right away while you're cutting everything else, right? And then cut your piece of wood, uh, cut your framing at the end or whatever, and just, uh, just more or less waiting everything to dry takes longer than probably building this thing so you can probably whack it out in a day so if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below hit that like and subscribe button hit that bell to be notified when i post another video we'll talk to you later